Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just a little update. Uh, still haven't got that package from the US yet, but it's nearly here. It's just sitting down in Melbourne. Uh, fuck, they take their time down there. That's just a Victoria thing. And the Aussies will get that. Um, I did make a couple of uh, little acquisitions locally. Um, I did find this. This was in a lot of uh, sort of uh, brand new box stuff that I and uh, Kublai 9169 split. Uh, it's Dusty Adventures of Percy set. Uh, that was only $15, so I come out pretty well with that. Uh, for, I'm not sure what that'll fetch in the US. Said um, 40 50 onwards, probably. US, probably even more. So um, that's a definitely a, a steal by any uh, stretch of the imagination. That's uh, cool. The box is a little bit up there. But, fuck, man, that's still pretty good. $15, yeah. What's that? That's 2005 set. That's pretty cool. And I uh, just bought that off Coupon off 9169. It's just a 2006 Percy, 20 bucks. Uh, pretty good deal, man. Um, like most of these, you can find these probably starting a $10 bid, with probably $5 postage in the US. I uh, just thought, like, 20 bucks, uh, just get it locally. Why not? That's uh, so 06 Percy. I've got a few collection, uh, a few, sorry, got a few new inbox sort of uh, Percy's now. It probably takes a few of the probably early 90s. Um, Try to get some late 90s ones, like maybe 98, 99. Um, I've got an 01, I've got an 06. Probably try and get the Tomy version and maybe a few others sort of in the middle there. Uh, maybe 97 and a 96 as well. Um, yeah, so that's them. Uh, so tonight's character review, uh, we'll do a... We've got hey, the sisters in the background. Uh, Ada, Jane and Mabel. Okay, so this, this guy's story released in 1997. As you can tell by the large 1997 magnets, uh, that is Mabel. Um, this is it's quite a bit of a departure from Wooden Railway. I think this is kind of the first real model that sort of uh, they sort of started to employ more plastic into the line. Um, I guess that's where your diehard fanatics sort of get lost in the process. It's allegedly why Roy Wilson um, sort of sort of didn't see eye to eye with the the makers of. Um, Learning curve, yeah, I guess he departed learning curve, um, and that was his sort of. I think he cited that as his reason. So many of you, he just didn't like these things the way they were heading, too much plastic in them, and th and they definitely are. It's definitely a, a more of a uh, departure um, from what it started with him. But either way, like it's still, it's still, these are an inter it's an interesting item. This one, the Ada Jane Maple, because um, obviously this is just from um, it's from the what's the thing in the book I'm thinking of. The, like the railway series, that these only appear uh, very, like very briefly. Um, something to do with Scarlowy. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I really should fucking invest some time trying to actually read um, all the, the books. Uh, that's obviously Ada. Um, look, you can find these sort of in the US marketplace. They're going to command a, a bit more of a high cost. Uh, the box is going to give you the most grief. Finding these boxed, you don't see a lot of these um, appear anywhere. Uh, eBay is probably the only place you're going to find. Uh, I think I saw one in the selling history. There wasn't. It didn't go for a whole heap, but all the others have, have generally gone up upwards of seventy or eighty dollars more. They they command a bit of a high price. Uh, this thing did run from ninety seven to uh, I believe it ran all the way up to nineteen ninety nine. Uh, I believe that there are, you can find these with 98, or well, the 98 onwards magnets. Uh, I, I don't think I've, I haven't seen any, I haven't like properly searched the eBay's history to find that, but I've been told that, yeah, if you find these in 98, 99, it's pretty, they're pretty rare. I, I mean, it's like, yeah, I, I don't think this thing's sold very well, so I don't think you're going to see a lot of these uh, dead boxes dated 98, 99. I, I think that probably it was just sort of made on mass. And I guess it's probably hasn't. They probably didn't make it. They didn't bother making many of these. Didn't probably didn't go through a whole heap of them. Probably might be why these appear so little boxed. Um, maybe hazard to guess. That might be why. Just a theory. Uh, what else is there to discuss these? Yeah, look, your average price for these uh, is probably in the US. Probably might start in the forties, maybe. If you're lucky, if you find it in the late thirties. You can go anyway up to 60, 70 US, uh, depending on their condition. Per train, you can probably find them for like, yeah, 15 to 25 each. And sometimes that is the best way to get them. Just get them all sort of... Um, you'd be amazed in lots. you just see some random things. You could see something from the 2000s and then there'll be like a fucking god... There'll be a Mabel in the lot. It, <laughs> it blows my mind. It's always in the Australian lots anyway. Um, these are... Uh, 
they're hard to find in Australia. They're not they're not common. They're definitely not common. Um, super rare? No, I wouldn't call them super rare. I I found these in a lot for about forty bucks four or five months ago. Uh, I had a whole bunch of there was a whole bunch of ninety nine ninety. Uh, 97 stuff in there so I've used that into my little collection it was like a Gordon and a like a James and blah 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 all that sort of stuff so sort of the lot sort of I think it'll pay for itself anyway all the track that I've got out of it I managed to sell uh, yeah they've got these up on eBay actually I have another version of it it's because one of them is really sun faded and that's gonna oh, I might might see if I've got any good offers on that I did get an offer for it the other day but I think I've just turned it down uh, what else is there to go? Yeah, like I said, Australia, this is, um, they're, they're hard to find in Australia. Um, the US, you're generally not going to find, you're not going to have much trouble with these. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, look, that's the box version. That's, yeah, that's dated 1997. Uh, there's a cool box. Um, I haven't opened it. I don't like opening these boxes. See in the background, it's a very um, sort of nice decoration. Thomas Tank Andrew Friends with that sort of yellow... Uh, writing on the outside, um, so either Jane and Mabel are playing coaches with no roofs. Some say they're trucks, but Peter Sam insists they are coaches because they have seats. All right. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't think they sold very well. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, they, they did not sell very well at all. Uh, back in the day, what were you building, 1595? Yeah, I mean, uh, plain that's very good condition, this one boxed. Um, I've, I've never seen this boxed in Australia. Uh, not to say that they aren't a few out there. Highly unlikely. Like, I mean, there probably are in some people's private collections. I still don't think it's very um, very, very common, though. Uh, you, you are going to you generally have to get this from the US. That's the best market to find that. Uh, what else is there? No, there's no issues sort of buying energy and Mabel. If you're Australia, probably the only issue is, yeah, finding it. And then, like, the prices. Commands a pretty high uh, sort of market price. Because they are like semi rare, they just sort of um, that's just is their status. It's like the fucking flying Scotsman. You just sort of have to have to live with it. I've managed to come across a fair few in my time, and they always eventually, always eventually sell them on eBay. And at some point, I'm surprised. Fuck, people always pay the full price for them too. No offers. It's a bit weird. All right, uh, what else to talk about? Oh, look, that's probably just a, a wrap for them. It's a cool. I like it. I love, definitely love that I've got that boxed. I can, what did I pay for that boxed? I think I found it for 60, just over 60 US or something. I believe. No, maybe it was like close to 70. I think that's, either way, it was still a pretty good deal because um, I'd seen so many of them over at the hundreds and I think one day I just, fuck, I struck pretty quick. It was like 70. I was like, yeah, shit, I might as well just buy that. Um, yeah, look, that's the Ada J Maple character review done. Um, both... Probably worth a little I mention. I have uh, managed to pull off the impossible. I have managed to find a white face troublesome truck in a lot over in the US. I uh, am very ecstatic about that. Uh, that means I'm going to have two now. I'm going to hold on to the two, so don't ask me any questions about selling it. I'm not going to sell them just yet. It was the shock of a lifetime because I got woken up by my contact about 2 a.m. here, 2.30 in the morning. Um, he'd found the the. He had found a Metallica, James. Uh, side note, I've also just managed to acquire that. That's a box red Metallic James. And he, yeah, he had sent that link to me. The first thing I saw, I was like, oh, fuck yeah, scoring. Finally found it. Uh, grabbed that, and then I just, the messenger went off, and it's just, I think the lady, this lady heard, I'd, I'd inquired about the, the lot, sort of, I said, these are the few that I picked out. I said, you know, you sent me close ups of them. So she laid them all out, and then lo and behold, so it had a 93 brake van in it, which was, I mean, w- worth enough, because she had like $100 for this whole s- set of stuff. She had a track and a, a table and all sort of stuff. So there was a good chance, by how much she had, that she'd be willing to separate it. So I took a chance, and then yeah, lo and behold, there's a few other 92, 94 items in there. I just picked out sort of what I can get, sort of, sort of what makes it worthwhile, so to speak. And obviously using a few bit of a decoy. And yeah, lo and behold, <laughs> right behind the brake fan was a, just the white face sitting there. And I was just, fuck, my eyes lit up. I did not go to sleep for the next fucking three hours of the night. I was up all fucking night. I was just waiting for her to respond to me. Oh, then she bitched about, oh, fuck, she didn't want to do it. 
didn't want to ship it. It was just like, oh, you know, sob story. This, you know, this, you know, my kid, blah blah blah. Um, that worked pretty well. Um, I, yeah, I think we just agreed to give eighty bucks for the lot. Um, even though I was like, it's only like nine of them. Either way, like I just said, look, that's for your post. That's for your effort to post. Um, and I, let me pay by PayPal. I said because she should been burned by some idiot bloody. She had posted to some idiot in the, in America sometime. They signed for it and they still claim that they didn't get it, blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, it worked. Uh, got a white face. Fucking scoring. I don't know how I... I never thought I'd do that. I never thought I'd do that, but... Fuck, halfway around the world, too. I think that beats you guys over there, hey? I think I, um, I get to claim that one. Anyways, look, guys, uh, nearly hit 100 subscribers. Um, like, share the content um, hopefully try and make some improvements into it I'm trying to get into editing and all that sort of stuff I just can't be fucking bothered to be honest um, I'm happy to just sort of show off these things just do some reviews uh, enjoying it um, continue to network out guys um, yeah it's, it's, look I'm on Twitter if any other guys want to sort of um, get in contact with me it'll be TWRyan86 I uh, already found a few of you guys on there um, always good to have a chat Sort of what we come across and all that sort of th- all, all that sort of shit. It's um, it is what it is, eh? It's a fun world, and uh, we'll never it any other way. All right, guys, I'll leave it there for tonight, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.